Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the GMA seasonal model for today's uh, fur video. So uh, we're going through the next three months worth of data with the uh, GMA seasonal. Uh, it's going to take us through May, June and July, so into the middle of the summer. And uh, yeah, I should go on for you very shortly. It's going to be kind of like a summer lockout, although not covering the full summer period. But, but you know, first couple of months or so. Anyway, and as I say, I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that first video release today was our 7 a.m. upload, looking at weather for the next uh, couple of days. Um, you know, nice little uh, two or three minute forecast. And uh, also, yeah, safe forecasts have been released, so have a look at that. We're going to be back later on your 10 to 14 day, which will include all the regular features. If you enjoy the content on the channel at the moment, please like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the uh, 500 millibar height on from the North Pole view down, first of all. So this is the North Pole of Norman Hemisphere just here. We've got the middle latitudes. Uh, around there. So blue is, is, is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, so this is 500 millibar height anomaly for May to start us off. Now, this is just one month away, so this should be the most reliable part of all of this. And to be honest, not looking tremendously good for May, it has to be said. Uh, the German model is going for an area of above average heights through the middle of the Atlantic and mid-Atlantic ridge, extending up towards Greenland, with a trough of below average heights across the northern and western parts of Europe. But you're going to funnel the wing down into a north to northeasterly type direction. So quite a cool and potentially slightly unsettled month ahead. Although the Atlantic is blocked us, so or I wouldn't expect it to be overly uh, wet really the uh, worst of the um, you know the worst of the the precipitation probably going into sort of central Europe through here uh, central of the trough so I wouldn't expect it to be overly wet but it probably is a bit mixed um, the main thing I think with this is that you know with that mid-Atlantic ridge we're probably pulling in the wind from a north northeast east right so quite a cool end to the spring if that is correct uh, this is how June is looking, month number two. Uh, so June places an area of high pressure to our south. It's got an area of above average heights uh, through Spain and into France. Below average heights are up towards Greenland, uh, between Greenland and Scandinavia. So this will revert us back to a westerly. Um, so a more typical sort of pattern, uh, really. Not not sort of uh, those cool north north is back to westerly. Um, probably a bit mixed again. Uh, I mean, this is better than uh, what we have in May because we have got more high pressure closer to us. So particularly for the south, this could bring some reasonably dry uh, and fine conditions at times, perhaps. And um, again, Wesley's in June aren't going to be overly warm. But then again, they're not going to be that bad either. So I, I think that's like quite typical. And you would expect at least some warmer intervals uh, with that. The same can't really be said for July. This is uh, month number three, as far as we go, with the GMA seasonal. And we pull the heights well away from us into the middle of the North Atlantic, a very long way away from us for summer. Uh, so displacing the Azores High westwards and um, setting up this trough of below average heights over top of the UK and, uh, and Ireland and Western Europe, really. So it looks unsettled, this. With, again, high pressure a long way away from us and ridging up towards Greenland on the cool side of the jet stream, digging the jet stream southwards. And, um, and yeah, so that doesn't look very good at all uh, if you want a warm and dry uh, sort of midsummer into July. Of course, it's possible that August would, would uh, pick, pick things up. But, we, uh, you know, uh, as it is, July doesn't look very good under a trough of low pressure. So probably quite a cool wet month, uh, if that is correct. Right, let's confirm all that with the tropical and mid latitude view. So on this view, you can't see the uh, Arctic and the polar regions, Scandinavia, Greenland. We're all off the chart up here. We've had a look at that view down so we know what's going on from a northern hemisphere perspective. The British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. This is May's 500 millibar height anomaly from like the tropical and mid latitude view. So you see that we have the above average heights, have the high pressure through middle of the Atlantic up to Greenland, below average heights across western uh, parts of Europe, and again, in will come those uh, northeasterly winds. So a cool month would be expected. And um, the model is indeed going for below average temperatures during May. Uh, we have uh, below average temperatures 
being predicted here, especially for northern parts of the country, but all areas look rather cool, to be honest. And a little bit unsettled, too. Um, so the driest weather is probably for the northwest. The wettest weather is in the east and the south. Interesting, a little bit unusually. Uh, but, yeah, a rather cool, wet, changeable sort of uh, May being predicted. Have a look at the uh, wind arrows. You can see that the mean wind direction is forecast to be northerly to northeast. It was a bit hard to make out these arrows, but they're coming in sort of a north northeast direction. So, yeah, I think rather a cool month is uh, expected here. Northerly winds and rather unsettled as well. Uh, month number two is June, uh, where we get higher pressure building around Spain. So, you know, it's good for anybody having a Mediterranean holiday, if they're allowed to, uh, in June. Um, wings coming in from, like, a westerly uh, direction. So it looks like it's a return of the westerlies, really, uh, during June. The temperature anomaly is lifting up a little bit. So not as cool as it is in May. A little bit above average, if anything, uh, there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, still a little bit on the unsettled side, especially this time, the more northern and western areas. Rather above average rainfall uh, through there. The south isn't too far from drier than average conditions. So I think the south and southeast would get the best of that pattern. Um, and, uh, and the north and the west would be uh, a little bit on the uh, mixed side, probably. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and the mean wind direction for June is westerly. We confirm that with the black arrows. You can see they're pushing through the Atlantic there into the UK. So we're back into uh, westerly winds. And then finally, we come to July, month number three. It's a long way out, so it's not really worth worrying about. But it is placing a trough of low pressure over the UK then, sending the Azores high a very long way from us out into the middle of the North Atlantic. And it is like a mid-Atlantic ridge, really. Sends a jet stream and wind flow on a northwest southeast trajectory. And it just looks very cool and unsettled. Actually, the temperature anomaly is holding up. Uh, I would expect it to be cooler than this, really. But uh, the model is going for average to slightly above with the temperatures. And it looks like a rather unsettled month as well with uh, slightly above average rainfall. Maybe not quite as wet as you would think, given we're under a trough of low pressure. Um, the mean wind direction is northwest to southeast. So this with the black arrows there coming in from a northwest to southeast uh, direction. So northwest is, I would expect, a cooler than average month. And uh, if we're under a trough low pressure, probably quite wet as well. So it's not great, is it? Let's be, uh, let's be honest, for the next three months, if the JMA is correct. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing today. So it could all look very different, uh, you know, uh, next month. But at the moment, it looks like it's going for a relatively mixed summer or early to mid summer. Anyway, uh, May looks very cool with northerly winds. I mean, June, you know, picks up a little bit as the wind reverses to the west, but still probably, particularly for the north, rather unsettled. And then, then concerns about July as we're under a trough of low pressure. We're on the cool side of jet stream. We're pulling in northwesterly winds. I mean, if it can go wrong, it has gone wrong, <laughs> really, in July there. And uh, an overall, a rather mixed to cool and unsettled uh, early to mid-summer, unfortunately. Maybe August will pick things up, but of course, as we're short of August, uh, we can't say what would happen then. Right, so uh, that's it for uh, video number three. We'll be back later on. We contain to 14 day. That will include all of regular features. So have a look at that then. Uh, for this video, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.